What's up guys? Madness here um, with another Curse of Eris tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at the Ancient Warbat and uh, starting from spawn to get there we're going to walk east past uh, all this stuff here um. <coughs> Once you hit the slimes you're just going to go south and then continue on east, southeast uh, until you get to the uh, the Winterfell area, like winter area, whatever the hell it's called. Um, and when you get there, you're gonna see this this tunnel hole right here. Um, I don't think there's a level requirement to go into it. So be warned, low level players, uh, there are some high level uh, mobs in here that will kill you very fast. So just be warned, uh, it's the frozen tunnels. When you enter, you're gonna follow this path to the ancient warbat. Um, this boss is decently hard. He hits very hard for lower level players. You're gonna go through a lot of pots and if you're not paying attention to specific attacks that he does do, you will die and you will die a lot. So be warned, but he is by no, by, by no means a very difficult boss, as some people would say. Um, he does have some pretty decent drops. You can get the glacial helm and glacial set items from this guy, uh, which is very nice. Um, but again, he is a higher level boss, uh, he's level 120, and you just have to really pay attention to what you're doing when you're fighting him. Um, I don't actually use any relics or um, scrolls for this fight, I just don't. It's, it's not worth my time, I'm too high level for it, uh, my gear is too good. Um, which is, it's kind of kind of a, like a, an arrogant thing to say, but if you're using, like if you're using Dead Rock, or if you're using Varaxite, um, I do recommend you use scrolls of strength and accuracy and protection for this boss. Um, maybe even reflection, if, if you really want to get crazy with it, use reflection. Uh, vitality scrolls are a must, in my opinion, as well. They, are, they might be the most important uh, scroll. And uh, for relics, um, damage relics, power relics, accuracy relics. You know, the three major relics that most people use for increasing their damage output against anything. Um, so now I'm going to fight the boss, and I'm just going to show you some of his mini mechanics that he does use, like that right there. When you see his spikes come up, you're just going to kind of shuffle step over away from them, because they'll always show up in a cross pattern. And when they do, they will deal a ton of damage. I'm talking like over a thousand damage sometimes to players, which is basically insta-death. But other than that, if you can dodge and be aware of those spikes coming out, um, you will be just fine. See the spikes? They're kind of hard to see, but you can always get a gauge of when they're going to come out because they do come out every like five or six seconds. So um, if you count to like five or six, and then you just know that they're going to come out. And that's the ancient warbat fight. I'll fight them a few more times. Um, other things to note about this boss. If you are fighting in a group, those cross spikes turn into more cross spikes depending on how many people are there. So if you have a bunch of people in there, like the most I've ever seen, because this isn't a very crowded spot, is uh, three or four players and there are a lot of spikes that come out. So be very careful with those. They will kill you very fast, especially if you're inexperienced or don't have very good gear. Um, so be warned. And they do come out, you know, guaranteed every couple of seconds. I'm not going to take any damage off of them because it's it's that simple to dodge them that it's not worth the time to 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 take damage from them. You just have to be aware. Uh, you don't really have to make any evasions. You know, you don't have to evade much here. You can just basically stand there when he throws out his stuff. Just move. You move. You know, three squares over, and then you're fine. It will consume a lot of your med pots, especially without good gear. Um, the gear I recommend for this guy, baseline, probably would be Varax. Varax baseline with a glacial sword. Don't even mess around with the Varaxite swords anymore. Just, you know, vendor those. Um, glacial sword or nature sword or better. Uh, spectral sword is probably optimal here. Uh, for other gearing, uh, as far as relics are concerned, uh, power, damage, accuracy relics. And he should go down a lot faster with that kind of setup going on. You shouldn't have much trouble, at least if you're wearing barracks or better with what I uh, discussed. And 
yeah, get your tests done. Uh, look for those good drops on him. They're pretty rare. I haven't personally gotten any actual good drops off this guy, but uh, he's definitely not my uh, least favorite boss by any means. He's fairly easy and not too big a threat to farm if you are looking for those specific glacial drops. Um, again, I give a quick shout out to my guild, the Phantom Guild. If you guys are interested in joining the Phantom Guild, uh, I'll leave a link in the description and uh, they're great people. You can ask them anything, any kind of question you have for Curse of Eros. Um, yeah, stop in, uh, ask your questions. We'll try to answer them as fast as possible. And if you're interested in joining, uh, follow the instructions to do that. And uh, again, my name is Madness and thanks for watching.